And this is... Happy holidays uh, from the Girls' Union. I uh, would like to have a little feedback regarding the shot clock from coaches and administrators. If you could take a look at the, the mid-season and kind of have an evaluation of what you feel about it. Has it changed your strategies in coaching? Has it made any impact? How has it gone? Uh, any of that feedback, please email me at gross at ighsau.org. The wrestling officials recommendation form is up on bound now. We are using these for this coming postseason, so need that filled out by December 24th. We will be launching our Wrestling Tournament Central page on January 4th, which will contain all things for postseason, for our state qualifying event, and for our state tournament. Before you slip off for Christmas break, the 31st of December, E. Wayne Cooley Scholarships deadline. Today we are excited to announce the locations for our four Super Regionals for girls state wrestling qualifiers across the state. Due to the large amount of participants this year, each site will have two separate regional tournaments that will qualify the top four place winners onto state. Without further ado, here are our four Super Regional sites. Hi, I'm Tam Shepard from Ridgeview High School, and I'm excited to announce that Regions 1 and 2 will be held at the Tyson Event Center in Sioux City. I'm Calista Rodish from Rocky River Wrestling, and I'm excited to announce this year, Regions 3 and 4 are going to be held in the Iowa Event Center in Des Moines. Hi, I'm Jillian Worthen, and I'm excited to announce that Regions 5 and 6 are going to be held at the Alliant Energy Powerhouse in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Hi everyone, I'm Lily Luff and I'm from Charles City and I'm excited to announce that Region 7 and 8 will be held at Luther College in Decora. I'm excited to see you guys there. Like, I just try to always do these on Friday. Okay. We are here to give back to all of you who so selfless, self, self, oh! oh Today we are excited to announce the locations for our Yep. Due to the large amount of participants, each set participants. No, okay. <laughs> Tell Andrew. Oh, Tell mind. Andrew we're gonna be late. Okay. <laughs> we are excited to announce that today. No, blah. What? Blah, blah. It's Monday. Holy. Hey, Monday. Okay, okay, okay. Done. Boom. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was an act of wow. god. That was an act Give me of god. Down, dog. You didn't see the whole Before you slip off to enjoy the holiday Christmas break. Um, ah, 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 ah. We will be launching our Wrestling Tournament Central page on January 4th. This page will contain information for both Super Regionals and the State Tournament. I did that just in case. Okay. All right. I wasn't listening though. <laughs> Today is a test, an ultimate test, some might say, to see which of you, our weekly viewers, watch the Monday Minute all the way until the end. So today, the last Monday Minute prior to Christmas break, and in the spirit of holiday giving, we are here to give back to you through a little trivia. What do we have to give away, you might ask? We got mugs. We got silly pints. We got tumblers. We got umbrellas and we got bag chairs. All you have to do is answer these three trivia questions. Question number one. In what year was the first IGHSAU State Girls Basketball Tournament game televised? Question number two. Who are the first two team champions at the first ever IGHSAU state bowling meet? And lastly, your final question. What are the 14 weight classes being used this year in the inaugural IGHSAU girls wrestling season? Those three answers must be emailed to Ben at IGHSAU.org. The first person to respond, the 10th person to respond, 
and the 25th 25th person to correctly respond with those three answers will receive some nice little gift packages from the IGHSAU. Merry Christmas!